Hi everyone, I'm Shreya and welcome to our podcast exploring the professional cyber security landscape. Today I'm joined by Siam from InfoSec Train, an expert in security operation center training. So let's start with the conversation and welcome Siam. Welcome to the show Siam. Thank you Shreya. So uh, let's start with the basics about this course. Why should anyone pursue this course with InfoSec Train? Hmm. And along with that, what are the top five reasons why should anyone pursue this course and training? That's a good question. Um, so the five reasons why I would say to go with software InfoSec Trains are hmm. firstly, it's industry relevant curriculum which has been designed. Hmm. So it's not just totally theory. So actually keeping SOC in mind, whatever the activities are done, what are the tools are used in uh, real time in the organizations, we have kept that in mind and designed this course for that. So we'll be including SIM, threat hunting, incident response, and many other things into this particular course. Secondly, hands-on. So SOC is more of a practical field, which mm -hmm. requires practical approaches. So we'll be going through a lot of live simulations in which where we'll be performing and learning about attacks, first mm -hmm. of all, because you should have the knowledge of offensive and how to defend against it. So we'll be using tools like SIM solutions, again in Splunk, we'll be using Wireshark, MISP, Threat Intelligence, and Threat Hunting, and many more, like Volatility Framework for Forensics and Hunting Approaches. So these areas will be included, so it will be more of a hands-on based uh, course. And thirdly would be flexibility. Mm -hmm. So it's not just for starters, even for the IT professionals who want to switch into cybersecurity, it's open for them. So we fit as per their schedule. Fourth is expert trainers. The trainers, they are already experienced in SOC and they are well certified as well. So they can guide you through the queries and concerns in terms of your career building. Fifth is career oriented training. So we just not go theoretically or practical approaches. That will be good for the hands-on skills, that's for sure. Apart from that, we help you for resume building, interview preparation and you know to give you the life scenarios how you can uh, answer during the uh, interviews as well. So we'll be helping you to land a job in this organ environment. These are the five top key pointers. That sounds quite interesting and really intriguing to get into this course with InfoSec Train. So my second question will be why this SOC training is increasingly critical for the today's cybersecurity landscape? That's a good question. Yeah. Uh, so actually SOC, when I define SOC, it's a mm. business unit and it's more of a centralized thing. Yeah. So it works like a backbone for the organization. Yeah. So we are always hearing about new kind of an attacks. We have experience like ransomware, phishing, mm -hmm. insider threats, and many more are there. Mm -hmm. Even with the digital transformations, AIs are also being included. Yeah. So SOC works like a first line of defense where we can identify, detect, mm -hmm. mitigate these kind of an incidents before it can do some serious damage to the organizations. Mm -hmm. Right. So SOC is quite beneficial for that. So even for the as per the compliance requirement. And as I mentioned, digital transformation when we are talking about. Mm -hmm. So we, we require 24 seven monitoring for the same. So SOC gives us that. So it's not just a requirement, it's mm -hmm. a necessity. That's why SOC is quite required in every industry sectors, be it your healthcare, mm -hmm. uh, be it your financial, be it your IT, anything. That's very correct. So my next question will be, how does this SOC training helps a professional's career trajectory? SOC uh, opens your door for high demanding uh, cyber security roles into the organization. Mm. So even if you are a graduate, mm. even if you're a fresher, mm. it welcomes you. First of all, even if you are a professional, working professional into IT department, you like network, uh, security admin, help this, you want to switch into cyber security, mm. it's good to go with that. And thirdly, I would say it's, since we have talked about it, it builds your hands on experiences. So it makes you an important asset in the organization mm. who has, you know, who knows how to handle the incidents as well and helps you to work in any industry, as I mentioned before, be it your financial, healthcare, mm. IT. So since SOC is you know centralized thing, it's more of a backbone, as I mentioned before. So every industry requires that. Mm. Security is a concern which every industry requires. The mm. SOC helps you that. So it opens your opportunity mm. into every financial, or oh, sorry, every industrial sector. So that sounds quite interesting and I think it is going to help every professional who are thinking about pursuing this SOC training. Definitely, it's going to help them for sure. So now let's talk about the eligibility and entry criteria. Who should consider this training and what background should set them for this training as well? That's a great question. There is something which is a concern and you know raised by many of the uh, people and participants as well. Hmm. So this course is ideal for 
beginners in cyber security those who are trying to start fresh mm. it's ideal for them mm. uh secondly as i mentioned it professionals those who want to switch internally or want to get into a cyber security roles mm. good for them it's mm. pretty interesting mm. thirdly um those who are graduates mm. it can be offered up by them as well those who want to enhance their skills during mm. the college days you know beforehand that's also pretty good for them as well it's also for ethical hackers many people ask why ethical hackers would like to go into soc because ethical hacker is more of an offensive side mm. and soc is more of a defensive side but it's quite interesting to know that it gives you a complete picture mm. so if you're talking about ethical hacker they already know how to crack things how to you know perform an attack Mm. but learning how it can be defended mm. gives them a complete picture they can know how things are defended so that they can strategize and help organization to resolve the vulnerability in a better way mm. so it enhances their skills as well so it's quite open for ethical hackers as well okay so you would say this is beginner friendly as well Absolutely. and for the advanced level professionals yes okay so that's that's quite quite good So Sayam we are about to wrap up this podcast so what is the single piece of advice or advices you would like to give to the professionals who are looking out to pursue this training See cyber security is evolving faster than you think hmm. we are talking about AI is now robots yes. are being built you know hmm. the entire digital transformation is there hmm. so it's quite important to keep yourself updated hmm. go through some news hmm. articles right that is quite important go with the hands on experiences more hmm. get deep dive into the tools mm. like sim solutions which you are talking about um apart from that mm. earn certifications to vouch or to validate for your own so mm. certifications are there like soc and list certifications are there mm. uh big level if we talk about since we talk about offensive it will be helping you mm. uh ca security plus you can initiate with that mm. later you can go with the csa as well ecai and many more mm. Also lastly I would say join cyber security communities mm. so on LinkedIn mm. different forums are there you know join these communities in one of the discord communities as well mm. because there people give a lot of insights from their own experiences that is for sure going to help you mm. and keep you updated so take that first step now and you will be securing your organization soon thank you so much sayam for your expert insights and to our listeners who are planning to kick start their journey in cyber security do check out infosec trains soc training program and see you in the next episode thank you so much good day bye bye